One of the most profitable and famous superheroes of all time is Batman. And Batman's nemesis is, of course, the Joker, who has dedicated his life to crime and to tormenting Batman as badly as he can, committing more and more horrific acts to get the Cape Crusader's attention and to enrage Batman so much that he finally gives in and kills the Joker. Seeing as how I'm feeling generous, I'll give you this one for free. Knock me off! I dare you. End this! Pull the plug! Stop me once and for all! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're getting too predictable, bats. But Batman refuses to kill him on moral grounds. Which beggars the question, should Batman kill the Joker? Well, looking back on his past crimes, the answer seems fairly obvious. The Joker has shot Batgirl, one of the Bat family and the daughter of Commissioner Gordon, clean through her spine, leaving her paralysed from the waist down. Now, Batgirl does actually bounce back from this tragedy and takes on the identity of Oracle, a computer whiz and key part of Batman's team. But nevertheless, she is still turned into a lifelong cripple for no reason other than one of the Joker's sadistic whims. The Joker has also killed one of Batman's Robins, Jason Todd. Jason Todd was the second Robin and on one mission he was kidnapped by the Joker, who later killed the sidekick before Batman was able to rescue him. which Batman considers to be his greatest failure. His life and his death are my greatest failure. He also kidnapped another Robin, the third Robin, Tim Drake, and then tortured and brainwashed the kid until he thought that he was the Joker's son. Say hello, JJ. And even though later on, Tim Drake was able to overcome the brainwashing that the Joker had placed on him and kill the Joker in what is quite possibly one of the most epic death scenes of a supervillain ever, no matter how you look at it, that is going to scar Tim Drake for life. <laughs> it's okay, Tim. It's okay. And these are just a few of the things that the Joker has done to attract Batman's attention and torment him. And the fact of the matter is, the Joker's crimes are getting worse. If you look back at when Batman first started fighting the Joker, the Joker would simply rob a bank or just blow something up. But slowly his antics became deadlier and more destructive, and as time has gone by, they have continued to steadily get worse. And I think that everyone can agree that unless the Joker is stopped, he will only get worse and worse and commit greater and greater atrocities to attract Batman's attention. And there is, of course, no hope in rehabilitating him. You think you can have a family? That locking me up will magically reform me. And they'll be safe. So big, so dumb. <laughs> now run along, so I can break out of here. I've got lots of planning to do to top this. Now we can hope that something would stop the Joker, but ultimately he is Batman's nemesis, and that kind of makes him his responsibility, especially since most of the things that the Joker does is just to get the attention of what he considers to be his playmate, and his attacks on the members of the Bat family are driven purely on gaining Batman's full attention. Batgirl, I'll let you in on a little secret. This is the most trouble I've ever gone to for anyone. It really is. And why? Because I'm concerned. Deeply concerned. You see, Batman hasn't been himself these past few months. If he's not late, he's exhausted. If he's not exhausted, he's preoccupied, making all kinds of silly mistakes. I believe they call it baby brain. Best way to cure baby brain is to get rid of the babies. So we can conclude that killing the Joker will ultimately save lives. There is no doubt in that whatsoever, as he can't be contained and he always manages to escape from his cell in Arkham or any other prison-like establishment. So, so long as he lives, we know that he will continue to kill. So the only question left is a moral one. Do you kill him to stop him from killing others, or do you not? He can't be contained and he can't be reformed. So killing him is really the only option, short of banishing him to another planet or dimension, which is a valid option. 
Though of course, when he was banished in the Lego Batman movie to the Phantom Zone, he did escape with a host of supervillains and then nearly destroyed Gotham City. So even banishing him to another dimension can't keep him locked up for long. And really, death is the only permanent solution. Assuming that the body is burnt, so it can't be put in a Lazarus pit or some such other resurrection device, of course. Now, I can't give a definitive answer to this question. It's something that everyone has to decide on their own, as we all have very different opinions on the death penalty. Personally, I think it's okay to kill someone this nuts. I actually don't mind the death penalty if a person is 100% guilty. However, since there is virtually never a case where 100% proof can be provided, I am actually against the death penalty being put into force. But in this case, the evidence is overwhelming beyond belief, and killing the Joker would 100% without doubt result in saving future lives, as he would be unable to kill any more people. So personally, I think that the Joker should be killed without a shadow of a doubt. And you may disagree, or you may even agree with this. But do I think the Batman will kill the Joker? No. Why not? Well, it's got nothing to do with whether the Joker deserves it or not. Batman has admitted before that he thinks the Joker does deserve to die. All I've ever wanted to do is kill him. A day doesn't go by when I don't think about subjecting him to every horrendous torture he's dealt out to others, and then end him. But the reason he won't kill him is simple. It's a combination of justice and the fact that if Batman crosses that line, that he won't be able to stop himself from killing again. What, your moral code just won't allow for that? It's too hard to cross that line? No! God Almighty, no! It'd be too damned easy. He shouldn't be judge, jury, and executioner. No one should have that power. After all, Two-Face and Penguin have committed horrific deeds as well, some of which are just as bad as the thing the Joker has done, some of which are worse than some of the things the Joker has done. So why should he not then kill Two-Face and Penguin after he's finished with Joker? And then why not kill another criminal after that? Where exactly does it end? And I think the Batman has to draw a line in the sand and not cross it, or else he'll fall into the deep end and there will be no telling where he'll go. After all, it always starts by killing just one to save another life, and then killing a second person isn't so bad, then a third, then a fourth, then it goes on and on. This is the same logic with all crimes. The first one is always the hardest, but it gets easier to do each time you do it again. So even though I see why Batman should kill the Joker, I understand the reason he doesn't, and I do kind of agree with his reasoning. Yes, I think the Joker has to die, and I think the world would be a better place without him, but I don't think Batman should be the one to do it. Maybe he would be able to stop at just killing the Joker and that would be it. Or, much more likely, he's probably right and he would end up killing more and more people after he's killed the Joker. But if I do that, if I allow myself to go down into that place, I'll never come back. After all, this is a man who doesn't trust anyone, even the rest of the Justice League. You think one of us would go over to the other side? Or succumb to mind control? Yes, it's possible. That's why I developed plans for containing any or all members of the JLA, should the need ever arise. None of us would ever do that to you. Then you're damn fools. So who knows how far he would take this and how many people he may end up thinking deserve to die. Just as Superman seemed like this infallible force of justice, yet even he was unable to stop himself from killing just the Joker and killed again and again in the Injustice video game. Just... So I think that the Joker should be killed, but the Batman should not be the one to do it, as it may push him to the breaking point and send him completely kill crazy insane. And of course, no one should be judged during executioner alone. No one should have that kind of power. This is the kind of thing that would have to be decided by a court of law and then carried out by that court of law's executioners. But of course, that's just my opinion on the subject, and it'll vary from person to person. But what do you think Batman should do? Should he kill the Joker or should he not? Or do you think that if he does kill him, he'll cross a line and he won't be able to stop himself from killing again? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And finally, I've recently opened up a Patreon account. Patreon is a site which allows fans to give funding to creators for their work and to help them to make future work as well, in my case, make more videos. And in turn for the funding, fans are given rewards, such as having a say in what videos are made next. The more you donate, the more say you have. 
But if all you can give is a dollar, that's fine too. Every little helps keep the channel alive and you have my thanks if you do this. A link to the website can be found in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment. See you in hell. Ha 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 ha!